a friend of mine, Kweku from Ashesi University, shared this really cool video by Network Chuck, in which Network Chuck was given a tutorial on how to run a notify or identify server in a Docker container running on a Raspberry Pi or any other Linux based system. In his video, he did that with Kali Linux and also with Linode. And in the video, you could use the curl command to send messages to your cell phone as push notifications using the server running on the Linux system. So I went a step further and integrated with Mischief, a Python script that I speak to, which is virtually a voice assistant, and I can send messages to my cell phone as push notifications. I've also made my ESP32 sensor hub publish sensor information to this server so that I can receive this sensor information as push notifications. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know that back in the day I would use Twilio to send the sensor values to my phone or, uh, you know, you use an MQTT app on my phone to send these sensor values. But now I'm not using MQTT or Twilio at all, but I'm still subscribed to a topic using Notify to send information as push notifications. Check it out. This Raspberry Pi is essentially my server. It has mischief running on it, my voice assistant. And it also has a Docker container for Notify or Entify. And then they are, these two communicate mischief and Entify. And uh, this is also where information is relayed to from the sensor hub, which we have right here, an ESP32 connected to a DHT. To, to and also now trust on the next sensor if I want to and another sensor if you may please um, uh, and that information is relayed to this in real time using the HTTP protocol from the ESP32 Welcome, my name is Mischief Send a notification to my phone What should I send? Testing push notifications to an iPhone. And this is my sensor hub. Uh, basically, it's just an ESP32 connected to a, a few sensors. Here we have a DHT22 and a, an ultrasonic sensor. The sensor hub then relays the information to my phone as push notifications here. We are getting the temperature and the humidity from the ESP32 using the HTTP protocol. And the notifications can come to your Apple Watch too.